everybody it's nicole um and if anybody was a part of my live yesterday uh you would have seen me pour uh two resin items and i am so glad that everybody uh that came uh participated it was a lot of fun um and that i hope you're looking forward to my next live which is scheduled for the 17th so i know that everybody is anxious to see how everything turned out so i will be unmolding everything so first i want to introduce myself my name is nicole uh this is my channel um i talk about yarn i talk about resin and i also talk about mental health um uh, mental illness self-care chronic illnesses chronic pain and how to take care of yourself through my own experiences. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I like to make this um, channel a safe place for everybody to feel like that they can talk about um, whatever it is that's going on in their life, along with in injecting some fun with yarn hauls and stuff like that. Um, and I just wanna say that 99% of the stuff that I get, I do not keep. I give away or they go into my mystery boxes that are on my uh, Etsy shop, which uh, my Etsy shop is, the link is in the description of my, um, of pretty much every single video that I put out. Um, so like I said, my next live is going to be on the 17th. Uh, the plan is, is to do a giveaway. Um, I will be making a resin item um ahead of time and then i will be putting out a poll for um, some yarn for you guys to choose from and uh, the top three or four uh yarn items i will um that you guys will vote on um and please make an informed vote take a look at hobie's website um to see if it's something that you would like uh, and then the top uh selections will be then uh purchased and then it, will be uh, put together as a package. So I haven't quite decided on what that particular resin item will be, um, but you can be assured it will be something fun. Um, so uh, I'm trying this uh, new uh, way of uh, doing giveaways, uh, just to make things a little bit interesting and mixing things up and then also allowing me to interact with you guys uh, as well. Um, so if you guys like the way that this particular type of giveaway uh, goes, then I will do um, some other giveaways in the same fashion. Um, and you guys uh, can select uh, where you would like the yarn portion to come from. The resin part, I will, um, I can take suggestions if there's something you'd like to see, um, but I, I like that part to be a surprise. Um, the live that I plan on having on the 17th, I will uh, show you the finished resin item along with letting you know what the uh, yarn uh, selections are um, and uh, showing you exactly what it is because it's going to be the yarn along with the selected colorway. Uh, so uh, take a look at the polls that I'm going to be putting out over the next so many days and then make your selection. So I know um, you guys are definitely anxious to see what everything looks like. So what I did end up pouring, um, if you did not get a chance to uh, come to the live or you didn't watch the replay, because there is the replay, so you're more than welcome to watch the replay if you if you can't make it to the, uh, the live itself. Uh, it does help me out along with any, um, you know, any of you subscribing, uh, hitting the notification button because the notification button will let you know when I post any new videos along with hitting the like button. Um, and then of course, leaving comments that will definitely also help uh, me show up on, you know, whatever uh, recommendations there are out there for you or anybody else. Um, so in other words, it helps with the algorithm. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that's that's essentially kind of who I am, what I do, what my channel is about. So um, 
I made um, two actual commissions. Two people had asked me to make them um, some items. And so um, if, if you are interested in having something commissioned uh, for you when it comes to um, any of my resin stuff, I can uh, show you some of the molds that I have and then we can kind of work out an, um, a price point and then colors and then I, I tend to work better with like, hey, I'm looking at colors like pink, green, orange, with some this kind of glitter and i'll let you know if i have you know those kind of things for the most part i have almost every single color there is as far as the mica pigments um and then the alcohol ink um i have pretty much all of the colors um so it's just a matter of the glitter part you know glitter there's like a myriad of different glitters so anyway you can send me an email letting me know what you would like and then I can let you know approximately how much it costs with the idea that um, resin ex is expensive and therefore the resin item will be, it will be expensive. Um, it is not cheap. Uh, so anyhow, um, I had a commission from Cassie, which she's a content creator. Um, her channel is uh, Niche Craft and um, she asked me to make her a coffin that was colored black with um, some glitter in it. So I went ahead and I poured um, the, the uh, resin for it on my live. Um, and um, this is the mold. So this is the lid and it comes out to be like kind of like a trinket box um, with the lid. So um this is this is the lid um and you can see it i use some iridescent glitter so the iridescent glitter come it like when you move it it shifts from blue to green um and and then of course with the black it's just this like really striking color um and then the other side you can still see some of the glitter um and because i use the mica pigments you still get this really nice uh, sheen to it. Um, I just need to sand uh, some of the sharp edges and then uh, glaze it and then it will be done as far as the lid goes. So, and that's the other thing is that when I do make resin items, it's not something that's a one and done deal. Um, I It does take uh, several days in order for me to pour it. It has to cure and then I have to sand it and then glaze it and then of course uh, ship it out uh, safely that so that um, it gets to you in one piece. The other thing too is, is that it is not food safe. It should not be exposed to food nor should it be exposed to heat because it will, um, it will bend, it will melt. Um, so I try my best to um, put it between two pieces of cardboard so that it um, stays um, as flat as I possibly can uh, get it to stay. So that was the top. And then this is the box portion. Um, so if you can see, uh, you can see the glitter. Um, and I think it came out gorgeous. You've got all the glitter, all the sides of the coffin. And like I said, it's a blues, you've got greens, and I've used um, fine and extra fine glitter to um, kind of give this more of a subtle uh, look to it and not use any uh, chunky glitter, because I do have chunky glitter, um, but she was looking for more of a subtle look, and I think it came out absolutely fantastic. Um, so I hope, Cassie, I hope this is what you're looking for. And I hope that um, when you get it, you'll like it. So, uh, like I said, I will need to sand down uh, the the sharp edges and then uh, glaze where it needs to be glazed. Um, so, um, essentially, um, and the thing is, because the molds. Um, 
tend to be slightly imperfect. Um, sometimes the lids do not always match properly. Um, unless I have them made by a mold maker, um, they tend to match a little bit better. Um, but so this is what it looks like uh, put together. You can see that. Okay, so that's that. And then um, I had um, a subscriber, her name is Lee. She asked if she could have a, um, a heart, a resin heart made with uh, a dark red and blue. And then she actually joined the live and I asked her if she wanted to add glitter to it. And she said, yeah. And so I gave her a couple of choices. Um, I, and this was me just, you know, having what I thought would go well. Um, and I gave her a choice of the iridescent glitter. And then I had some nice um, blue uh, fine uh, glitter. So she chose the blue fine glitter and she uh, wanted it to be more of the Petri dish style. So this, this is what it came out to be. Um, none of this is me. All I did was, so this is, this is what you would see on the top of the mold. And so I poured, what I did was I poured some of the base or clear resin, mixed it in with the glitter. Um, and then I poured it into, uh, the clear, uh, base. And then I poured that into the mold and then I added the alcohol ink along with the white, what I call pusher to get the, the alcohol ink to move into uh, the resin. So as you can see, um, it's funny because when you watch the uh, resin and the alcohol ink work um, together, you can actually see the alcohol ink move uh, through the resin itself. So um, this is how it came out. And I am in love with the way this came out. So I believe I chose, I think it was sky was the color for the blue and apple was the red because she asked for a dark red and a blue. And so how it came out and I didn't add purple or any of it. So we've got some purples, you can see the blue. And then of course you can see the glitter um, and I didn't want to mess with it. I didn't want to stir it because then it would kind of mess with the way that the Petri dish looked. Um, and then, um, you can see here, look, we've even got some black. I didn't add black. Um, and then if you can see how everything kind of, um, moved when I add the white, um, pusher to the alcohol ink, how everything kind of moved uh, down in through the mold. Um, it looks like we even got some grays in there as well. Again, I didn't do any of this. This is all from the alcohol ink. This is why I love, I love working with resin so much. Um, and so, um, Lee, this is, this is yours. I need to uh, sand the edges as you can see and then I need to glaze it and then you can uh, you know use it as a conversation piece on a coffee table or wherever it is that you like um, I've had people use it as paperweights as well um, so I hope you like the way this turned out um, so yeah that's that's that um, I will um, I am uh, working on uh, gathering all of my prizes for my 1K giveaway, which is set for the 22nd of this month. Um, I am actually going to be crocheting a couple of things to give away as well as some other fun stuff. Um, I am going to be rolling out some videos to show you the prizes that you can win you must be a subscriber in order to win. So if you're not a subscriber, because I know that there are people out there who watch my videos who are not subscribers. So if you're not, um, do so. Uh, Cause otherwise you, um, you can come to the live. I have absolutely no problem whatsoever with you coming to the live. 
um, but you will benefit more if you are a subscriber because then you can win the prizes that I have. Um, like, uh, I've already released uh, the uh, one of the prizes that I will be giving away, which is um, Expression Fibers, uh, which will be some of her notions and some yarn that I purchased from her. And then um, there are some other uh, videos that I have batch uh, filmed that I'll be dropping uh, over the next so many days so that you can see what you can win. And there are some pretty decent uh, prizes uh, that you can win. Um, and then I've already scheduled all of that into um, my channel so that you can see what time uh, each of the lives will be and um i'm hoping you can attend if you can't hey i get it you know you got you've got work or doctor's appointments or whatever it is i totally understand um my plan is i'm hoping to be able to because i have a cricket um to make a whole bunch of stickers so that i can send it to all the people who have uh, who have attended so that you don't necessarily leave empty-handed and um, you will get something from me um, with some sort of like motivational like quote or something uh, using my cricket. Um, I haven't decided what it's going to be. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to include in this little uh, care package. So anyhow, um, I hope you liked uh, how the uh, resin items came out. And um, until my next video, I will talk to you everybody, uh, talk to y'all later. Bye.